Good morning everybody, it's Adam from Black Rock Outfitters. Right, we're on to the next one. The van was dropped off yesterday. 64 plate crafter, medium wheelbase. Now, the van has had some bodywork, but that's fine, because we're going to be wrapped a liner in. I'm also going to be replacing the rear doors, because they're a bit uh, mutilated on the one corner. But, overall, it's pretty tidy. So we're having uh, windows all the way down, windows in the back doors, um, full wrapped to loaner job, plastics are uh, going to be taken off, sealed, um, black on the bottom, grey on the top, powder coated steels, all terrain tyres, this is the full Nomad conversion, this can be done to any size sprinter or crafter van to be honest, um, medium wheel bases are quite popular at the moment so that's what I'm going with, um, Rhino rack on the top, Rhino ladder on the back. I won't put the reg in. Um, yeah, so this side's pretty clean as well. It has had, a, as I say, it's had bodywork here and there, but the two rear doors are in there, ready to go on. That's going to be the next job. Um, side plastics are in there. We're all going to be renewing the side plastics, to be honest, because they're uh, they're not much cop. One Rhino rack, which is going to have to be adapted for the uh, for the air vent on the top, I think. Um, Usually I'll take that piece out, um, treat it, repaint it, and then obviously you've got the gap for your skylight on the roof. Um, yeah, full Nomad conversion, bulkheads coming out, uh, swivel seat going into uh, the galley, which as you know goes across there. Difference on this one is we're not having a raised up bed, so we're having two bunks, uh, sort of caravan style, with a pull out slat system um, that's gonna obviously, where the cushions are gonna go down onto the bed. This side is going to be a little bit longer. Um, we usually have sort of a cubby seat in this area and then the table, but I'm going to be extending the bench um, because the chap is quite uh, tall. He's actually taller than me. Um, so probably 6'1", six, 6'2", six, something like that. So it's going to come out to roughly where the cubby seat would be. Um, so yeah, uh, other differences obviously is going to be full windows on this side as well um, and on the other side. So yeah, it's going to be nice and bright. Um, going to be nice and open actually. I'll, I do like to do a raised up bed because obviously people like a garage but for the couple um, that, are, that are, have given me their van they've requested obviously benches so I'm going to adapt it so that's not a problem. Um, the other difference is going to be it's going to have laminate on the ceiling. Now I've done that in my van which it does take time but you do get a better result than sort of the white um, uh, padded headlining if you like. Um, but yeah, it's you know it's adaptable, so I don't mind tweaking it a little bit for people. But you know I don't really want to come too far from the base, if you know what I mean. Um, when the bulkhead is out, obviously we're going to have a cab shelf as well. Cab shelf will be in there. Um, so yeah, rubber penny floor when all this uh, when all this lots out. There's the ladder for the back, and that's it. So I'm going to uh, can't really show you the reg on this, but if you look at the back doors. That's the reason why we're going to be uh, taking the back doors off. So the bottoms are clean, relatively clean, but it's mainly the top look. So they're going to be coming off anyway. Right, I should do uh, sort of updates through the week as the uh, as the week goes on. But that is the base van to start with. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Right, bye bye.